Good afternoon and welcome to Kobold Jank on Crosswalking Kobolds. My name is Cal, and once again I am joined by Dogtar. Howdy folks, as we reprise our Kobold Jank, we are going to round two of Raid Fangs vs. Ferocious Snow. Well, Raid Fangs didn't really get a chance to bear its fangs because it got buried in snow and giant kicked it in the face. But we're hoping this has a better showing in game two. We get to see what red black vampires, not really vampires, can do. Versus angry giant who throws green things at you. I had fun last game. I don't think Hell did, but let's see how this goes. On that note, let's roll it up. Good luck, have fun. I had plenty of fun. I am pair of four, almost a straight. Two pairs again. You get to go first again. I'm pitching. That one ready? Sending one card to the bottom. And start us off. I will untap, upkeep, and not draw. <laughs> Play a swamp, go. Untap, upkeep, I will draw. Play a forest and sing, go. I untap, upkeep, and draw. I play a swamp, and I pass the turn. Well, untap, upkeep, draw. There we go. I'm going to play a snow island. Pay two. Pass Mirror Liege Slumber. Okay. Whenever it or another snow permanent enters the battlefield, I scry one. Leave it on top. And at the beginning of my upkeep, if I control 10 or more snow permanents, sacrifice the enchantment, and I create a Mirror's Leash token. Okay. Going ready. Do we have any Mirror's Leash token? Somewhere. I play a mountain and pass the turn. Very slow. Play a force. I tap three. And I cast a hey, Colossus Magistry. You go when you're ready. I draw. I play a mountain. I will tap for a black and three to cast Blood Price. I will look at the top four cards of my library. I will put two in my hand and the rest on the bottom. Sending these two to the bottom in any order. And then I lose two life. Yep, that's got 18. Pass the turn. Okay. Keep. Draw. I'm going to cast a Shimmering Drift Veil and choose blue. It's a snow land, so I get to scry. I'll leave that on top. And it enters the battlefield tap, but taps for the color of my choice. That's my turn. Go when you're ready. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. I will play a mountain. I will tap for a black and two. To cast Veto, Thorn of Dusk Rose. Okay. Bang has bite, apparently. I pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play a priest. I'm going to cast a Chiller Pillar. It is a snow insect, so I get to scry. I'll leave that on top. Go you ready. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. I play a Swamp. I will tap for two black. And two. To cast a blood a bloodbound vampire. I move to combat. Okay. I declare attackers. You're a one three? Yep. Okay, you're planning to try and kill my creature somehow, but I'll I'll play, I'll block. I attack for a black and one for a moment of craving. Target creature gets neg two, neg two until end of turn, and I gain two life. Yeah, one two. And I assume you're targeting my creature, so I just come along. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, I passed the turn. I untapped a Pikmin Brawl. I'm gonna cast a giant ladybug. When it enters the battlefield, I search my library for a basic land and put it into my hand. Nice! Basic snow land. Give me a cup, you're ready. And for turn, I'm gonna scry one off Mary Fleege. I'm gonna put Winter's Rest on on him. He because I use a Snow Island, he becomes tapped, and as long as I control another Snow Island, he doesn't get on. He doesn't untap. A scry. Oh, he should have a plus one plus one counter on him. Go when you're ready. Untapping, upkeeping, and drawing. I play a swamp. I will tap for red and one to cast Axe Guard Calvary. I will tap for a red and two to cast Marauding Blight Priest. Okay. Then I pass the turn. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. With being on my upkeep, I have I control a creature's power four or greater, so I draw an additional card. Draw one, draw two. I'm gonna play another snow covered island. I'm gonna pay one to cast a Rose Horn Halberd. Whenever it enters the battlefield, attach it to a non human creature I control. I'm gonna attach it to the insect. It gets plus two, plus one. Okay. That's. Yeah, as much as I like dislike this, I'm gonna have to pay two. I'm gonna have to savagely punch him in the face, choosing my giant ladybug to get plus two plus two, and then I punch you in the face for eight. Did you not? Four. I'm a six two. No, I got plus two plus two. Six four. You have to block with both of your creatures. Eight four. Block with those, both of your creatures if you wanted to try and take him. Four. I've taken one damage. So you actually you wouldn't have to double block. Go when you're ready. Untapping, upkeeping, and drawing. Two cards in hand? Two cards in hand. One I play mountain. Okay. Three moves doing this thing, trying to wear you down and advantage. You get card advantage. I move to combat. Okay. I'm declaring her as an attacker. I oh you might have blood rush. I'm perfectly okay with losing the ladybug. You did what I need to. I block with the ladybug. They trade. I will pay for one red and one, two, three. Cast Mardu Heart Piercer. When Mardu Heart Piercer enters the battlefield, if you attack this turn, Mardu Heart Piercer deals two damage to any target. I choose you. And then I pass the turn. Mm. I do not control a creature with power 4 or greater, sadly, so I don't draw an additional card. Play a forest. I do not play a forest yet, I lied. 1, 2. 3, 4. 5. I'm going to cast this new, the Abomination. When you have the battlefield, I can do Scry 1. Because it's Mirror's Thief. Mm -hmm. And leave it on top. I'm going to use this ability to look at the top part of my library and play a snow permanent off the top of my library. Yeah. Okay. the battlefield, I'm going to tap it, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Go when you're ready. For red and three, I cast Brazen Cannonade. I move to combat. Mm -hmm. I declare attackers. I declare blocks. Deals two damage to you. Yep. And I enter pre-combat main phase. Or sorry, post-combat main phase. 
Since I attack with a creature this turn, I exile the top card of my library, and I may play it until end of turn, which I will end of next turn. Yeah, I can still play it this mm-hmm. turn. And uh, end of combat on my next yeah. turn. And that stays there because it's an enchantment. And go when you're ready. I'll untap. Keep. Draw two cards because I control a creature with power four or greater. Draw one. Draw two. I'm going to look at the top card of my library. I'm going to pay two. And we cast a Pilfering Hawk. When it's the battlefield, I'm going to pay a green to put a plus one plus one counter on this new abomination. And if it's no permanent, when it's the battlefield, I get the scry card. Yeah. Okay. And that goes to the bottom. Play land for turn. Uh, when that land enters the battlefield, I have a plus one plus one counter on this new. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Bird Strider. Tap him. And Snow was used. Snow was used. I'm going to move to combat. Okay. Attack for eight. I take eight. That took a twelve. Go when you're ready. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. I pass the turn. I untap. Uh, begin my upkeep. I sacrifice Maris Liege because I control 10 or more snow permits and create a 2020 indestructible. Good game. Yeah. It doesn't have haste. Does <laughs> it not? It doesn't, I don't believe it has haste. Yeah, because I sacrifice this and create a token that's a 2020 flying with indestructible. I mean, I'll wait till my next turn, but I'm really confident. Yeah, I'm, I think I have you dead this turn. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 13 damage on the table. No. Alright then. Good game it is then. Good game. We'll stick with that. Um, I had a Fervent Strike, which didn't matter because it doesn't untap. I had nothing. But regardless, I do want to thank you guys for uh, joining us for this game. Uh, if you look down in the description, you will find a link to our link tree. Uh, within that link tree, you'll find links to our YouTube channel, which is here, uh, the Twitch channel, where I stream between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Time every day, every weekday. Uh, you'll find Dogtar's TikTok. Um, you'll find a link to the Patreon. Uh, and uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, we'd really appreciate anybody who stops by, um, if they can, uh, to become a founding kobold. The Founding Kobolds don't get much right now, but uh, once we are making enough money that we're a little more self-sufficient off of the streaming, uh, we will definitely be looking at uh, giving them special treatment. Alright, on that, guys, I do want to say thank you for joining us on Kobold Jank. You guys have a wonderful evening, and let us know what jank you've been playing recently. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night.